This is how I prepare my panel. I use a piece of 220 grit paper and a little bit of turpentine, either gamsol or terpenoid, which are odorless mineral spirits. And I rub it just enough to knock off the texture. I don't want to rub so much that I sand off most of the gesso. And so I just want to get the texture to be nice and smooth of the panel. When they apply gesso to a gesso board brand panel, they spray it on, I believe, which makes a little bit of a stucco type texture. And so I'm just knocking that texture off. Turpentine helps keep the dust down and it also helps create a nice paste, almost like toothpaste, which helps create a nice fine sand. A nice little tip is to pour the turpentine into the cup by switching the can upside down so the nozzle of the can is on top. This is an ampersand gesso board brand panel. Ampersand has another product called Clayboard. Clayboard looks a little bit the same, but it doesn't work to paint on at all. You want to make sure that you get the gesso board product. I occasionally use a paper towel to wipe it clean. While I check it, I hold it up at an angle to the light to check for ridges or bumps and I rub it with my finger just to make sure it seems smooth in all areas. For my own paintings, I make gesso using a traditional method. I have a blog post about exactly how I do that if you want to actually try and make a traditional panel where you mix up your own gesso with chalk dust and titanium pigment and rabbit skin glue, and you apply it in five layers, allowing it to dry between layers and sanding between every layer. This method is a lot easier, and so just for an exercise when you're just learning how to use this method of painting, you might just want to buy a pre-made gesso board and sand it a little bit. After sanding, your panel is all ready to transfer your drawing onto it, and you can begin painting. <laughs> <laughs>